How's it going everyone and welcome to an NHL 14 tips and tricks video. Today we're going to be looking at Hockey Ultimate Team and a quick question that a lot of people ask is how you make quick pucks in Hockey Ultimate Team. Um, so there are various ways that you can do it and uh, I'm just going to be going over a couple ways today. Nothing too crazy but uh, some stuff that gets uh, you basically started. Um, what you need roughly to about start this is about 5,000 pucks. If you need that go play the rookie tournament and you'll probably get about the 5,000 pucks from that. Um, so let's go over method number one and method number one is buying change team cards and this is a very low method and stuff like that I mean you can also buy a quick sell and uh, or quick uh, quick purchase and then quick sell uh, Gold players if you can find them for that price, but they're they're also harder to find But let's go look at my watch list right now So as you can see my watch list They're full of all uh, change team cards that I won and if you look at each one I didn't pay over 500 bucks for a single one of them. Um, actually I did I paid uh, 550 for the Anaheim but that doesn't worry. Um, it's not a big deal. So, um, as you can see, these are my, like what I do. Like I sit in the market and I spend like 500 bucks per card, roughly, and I uh, put them back on the market at 900. Uh, 950 is uh, the starting price, and the buy now is a thousand. The thing with change teams is that people are always going to want to be looking to get their team chemistry to a thousand or 100 percent, and uh, they will buy these. Like these cards do sell, and you will get your money back if you buy them for 500. You're doubling your profit on every single card. Um, so there are some people who buy them at like 700 and 800 and they just get 200 bucks so every five uh, five cars that they uh, sell they make a thousand bucks off it but if you buy them for 500 no matter what team it is uh, you will make a thousand bucks off of every two cars that you buy um, just for the resale thing um, which it happens people get the cards and they throw them in there thinking that they're not worth nearly as much as they are but they do sell for about a thousand if you are persistent about it um, that's also another thing, so let's go look at the trade pile right now. So as you can see, my trade pile is pretty much full. Uh, I like to utilize it, but it won't be that much full after like another hour when these guys are done, um, which is the guys that I put up for the trade day. And surprisingly, none of them got any offers, but I'm thinking that's because uh, nobody really has the pucks that they want to spend or the players, and they're all trying to get players themselves. So probably do another trade, uh, trade day in like a month or so, but if you guys want to see more of them, just let me know. I can do them. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, like I have uh, changed team to Calgary, 950 and 1,000. That'll eventually sell. And if not, I'm just going to relist it up there for another hour again. And it'll it's gonna, it, it'll eventually sell at that price. Uh, Mike Fisher for 1,500. Buy now for 2,000, uh, 2,500. And uh, Jerome McGinley, 7,500 with a buy now of 10,000. Um, just in case the bidding gets out of hand, somebody really wants to get their hands on Jerome McGinley, you can purchase them for 10,000. That's how I do that. Um, but as you can see, like I have like most of these cards in here are of course the players that I put up for the trade day but um, let's talk about method number two and that's buying silver players um, so as you can see these are three silver players I did get the Sean Monahan out of a pack um, so it doesn't really uh, go down that road but silver players are especially silver NHL players are worth a lot of money in this game and I know what you're thinking is why would a silver NHL player be worth a lot of money well the thing is is you need the silver NHL players to finish those uh, complete team bonuses that you want there's silver NHL players on majority of the teams and I think one team has a bronze NHL player um, so as you can see if we go uh, NHL level silver let's look at these guys so um, yeah 8,000 9,000 7,000 19,000 12,000 8,000 like these are your money makers if you can get a silver level player for a cheap price you're gonna make your money back on them for sure either that or if you get one out of a pack you look at Colt Norris going for 50000 because I'm pretty sure he's the only one on the market right now. So, as you can see, Silver Players is an easy way to make your money back um, if you can get them for a cheap price. Um, so keep your eye open in the market if there's a buy now price on one of these guys for really low. And it's fluctuating all the time when it comes to Silver Players. Like, uh, this ain't bad. 3000 for him. I'm not going to pick him up, though. But um, 3000 you probably make about 5000 off of him. Um, so he's listed right there for 5,000. Um, so yeah, so uh, like as you can see, like silver players is a way to make money uh, for right now when people are trying to create their con or like complete their uh, collections and stuff. That's um, one of the easy way to make your money, but um, this one is probably going to be time consuming. It's more of a long term investment than it is anything else. And the more that the cards come up, these silver NHL players, the more that the value decreases. So like you basically be getting screwed. But I find most majority of the time people are going to sell them because they want to complete their collections really quickly. Um, so that's just how that is coming a ride for me. Um, that's another way to do it. And um, I'm just going to go over there. It is like bronze players. Um, there's this one guy. I believe his name is Jonas Rask. Yeah, Jonas Rask. He plays on Nashville. And yeah, he goes for quite a bit. But he's the only bronze NHL player. As well as silver, um, silver WHL and OHL players go for a decent amount too for whatever reason. Like rare silvers, like Darnell Nurse is going for a decent amount. 
Um, surprised he's not going for one. Brandon Gaunt should be going for higher than what he is. Uh, Sarlitz, 2,500. Connor McDavid's 50,000 pucks. Like, if you get a Connor McDavid card, like, you're going to make a lot of money. So keep your eyes open for a Connor McDavid. Um, but yeah, any like silver rare card in the OHL or the, the CHL in general is going to go for a lot. That Sean Manahan's going for a thousand, but the other two on the market are myself and uh, some other guys. So that's an easy way to make money is getting silver uh, WHL it's, or CHL players just in general. Um, Kirby Reichel is also going for a lot because he's a bigger name. But as you can see, like if you have a silver player that got drafted good, chances are they're probably going to be selling for quite a bit of money. Some, so that's another way to do it. I'm going to show you guys my last method and my last, um, well, I guess there's another tip also. Um, if you go to uh, training, as you can see, um, let's go training and chain captaincy and buy now. So let's see, is there any 500 cards out there? Yeah, so as you can see, there's a couple of these. This one's at 450. The captaincy cards, like these actually captain, like um, they don't sell for nearly as much as the assistant captain cards do. So um, if you can get assistant captain cards, they will sell for more. Uh, so let's just check this to so see like that one's going for 400 actually probably should get a bit on that because they will sell for a thousand like these ones sell the assistant captain cards are pretty much at the static price of a thousand so um, I'm actually gonna try to get this one right now because that's a good price and I can double my money off of it so let's see if I can get it hold on this like you have to watch the market like this is how you make the money off of your cards and stuff like that um, so we're gonna be able to get it for 450 because sometimes people will put a bit on it and leave it because the captain cards aren't nearly as uh, populated as the other cards I think I might get it for 450 which would be great am I gonna get it for 450 I got it for 450 um, so that's actually a really good pickup for 450 I'll put it on the market for buy now for 950 and sell it for a thousand so that's pretty much doubling my profit right there for just uh, spending a little bit of money so that you can do it with captaincy cards and the last way is uh, probably like if you're if you're starting out and you just want to you want to learn how to make money um, pretty quickly this is probably a really good way to do it just let me reset the parameters uh, okay so what you're going to do is go NHL go uh, level um, go gold and go buy now max at 250 uh, 300 350 so um, these are your NHL players that the buy now max is at 350 for um, I can't remember what these guys sell for it all depends on like what they're overall they all sell for different things but uh if you go check what they actually sell for if you can get your hands on one um you might be able to purchase these guys and uh i know you could do it last year they would sell them and you could quick sell them for more than what you purchased for and pick up about 50 bucks or so for doing that for a little bit um you would be able to get your money back and then of course you can do the bronze packs which is the same as last year's buy that and then sell contracts for 200 and uh, with the amount of contracts and stuff that you get out of there you will make your money back on bronze packs and if you already can get about 20k per day on bronze packs so let's just go um just any gold cards for 350 um hold on, let me see if there's any 250 ones right now actually uh any for 250 no i think people caught on to that yeah so like they're all pretty much 300 is what the buy now is on these ones pretty sure you can still make a little bit of pucks on them but uh yeah that is how you do it if you want to do the quick sell thing just to get your puck bonus up a little bit but those are my tips for you on how to get uh, a lot of pucks in hut relatively quickly. Um, another way you can do is opening up packs and uh, getting a Sidney Crosby. But that is really hard, as we all know, so uh, I'm not recommending trying that. If you're going to open up packs, then do that. Um, so, yeah, so see, there we go. There's our stuff again, all of our one cards and stuff. I don't think I know any of these clubs. Yeah, I don't think any of the guys in the community it was their card. If they, Because they would have probably put out the parade normally. Um, this is your tips. Uh, first NHL 14 tips and tricks video of, the, of I guess, of the series that it's going to be. Um, next video up is going to be which is the hardest shot and want to take it. Um, that one should be up roughly around tomorrow or the day after that. So expect that then. And until next time, take care, everyone.